G'day guys, how are you? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can save an image from your image box. Um, whether you load that image from the internet or whether you have a picture of your own, um, just for shits and gigs, you can definitely do that. Now, if the resolution looks a bit strange, it's because I'm using an old monitor. Um, nothing beats the old classic sort of brick monitor. Um, you know, four by three, I suppose, it would be something like that. But anyways, let's get to it. So, yep. I'm going to click on new project. Now I won't be able to show you the internet way of doing this is because I'm in the middle of moving houses, I've moved back to Turkey and I'm still waiting for internet to be connected so yeah. Anyway, so what we want to do is we want to go to Visual Basic, go to Windows, uh, sorry, is it Classic Desktop, we'll just go to Standard Forum for now. Um, we'll just name it Saving a Picture. Because that's what we're going to do, we're going to save a picture, aren't we? I mean, yeah, why not? So let that load up. So we've got our form here. So we'll just make it a bit bigger, I suppose. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to just get a picture box, like so, like that. And you could put a menu there if you wanted to, but I won't really do that. I'll make it a bit bigger than what it needs to be. Just so it fills up the entire space. Yep. And I'm gonna click here and go to zoom because uh, it. If you don't do that, I know it sounds strange putting it on zoom, but if you don't do it, like say if you've got a picture that's bigger than this square box, then it will focus, you know, something you don't want to press zoom that sort of puts it all into the picture box, so yeah, scales it correctly. So what I'm looking for, the next thing we'll do is we're going to get a button, so um, we could probably get two buttons I suppose, one could be load picture, and one could be save picture. Um, I haven't done it with a load picture before, but I don't see why it shouldn't be on the Load picture. And we could call this one save picture, just like that. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is, well actually what I'll do so I can make it bigger and show you guys that is I can actually anchor it. Now anchor, what that means is when I maximize the form, it's going to stretch these ones out, but as for like, oops, as for these like buttons here, I don't want them to be stretched out to the maximum. So what I would do is I would anchor those ones to the bottom of the left hand corner as they are on that side of the forum. So what I'm trying to mean is what I'm trying to say is if I just run the application now, um, like that. Sorry. So there's our thing now. If I maximize it, it's now you what I mean. Cool. So the first thing we're going to do um, is obviously when our form loads, we don't really want anything, I suppose, at this stage. I mean, if you wanted to, you could definitely type in media back color. Um, you could also make this color box on the large gray or something. Because, you know, I don't know. You do whatever you want here. What When you load it, um, yeah, it's going to be like that. So what that'll do is when I start my application, hey, it's grey, it's grey, 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 grey. Um, you can do other things as well, obviously, like um, new text. So this is going to change the, um, uh, sorry, the title. So you um, load an image, load an image. Load an image, load an image, load an image. Yeah, so there it is there. Cool, so enough of that. Let's get into it. So what we could do, um, we would probably need an open file dialog, I suppose, for this particular one. Now, I haven't actually done it with the low picture before, so we want to give up. And of course, to save it, we need a save file dialog, so just like that. So for load an image, um, we could um, open file dialog in the show dialog. And then we need the result. So it's going to open the dialog, but if I then type it again, it's going to show that dialog again. So we can type in open uh, if it's okay, because yeah, if it's okay, then, and we put in an if statement. So if, if the result of the open file dialog is okay, then um, picturebox image location. Image equals open file dot 
file name, I suppose that would probably do it, although it's saying it can't be converted to an image that I could probably do to stream maybe in order to work. I don't know, let's find out together. This is a little bit like it. Perhaps I could do image location. That's how we stream will that make it should make any much difference as we stream. So okay, let's just go off that. So if I start my program and load a picture, it's yeah, you can make this look a lot better. Um, this is a picture of me. Aha. If I aha look at that, it's me. There we go. So there we have it. Uh, and now if I make it big, wow, that's a lot of Android. So yep, and let's make that a bit more center. So, yeah, it needs to be yeah, that's what I like that. Cool. So you could also like for example, um, if you want to make the file dialog look a lot neater, like with some what you want it to do. Um, if you go to properties here, uh, you can of course you can tell it what it's going to say the file name. So you could just say select a well JPEG I suppose JPEG. Select the JPEG picture like that. And so what happens is when you turn the program on, it's going to do that. And then with this filter, you can tell it, hey, I'm going to look for JPEGs. So it gives you like a small example down here. Um, so once again, you could definitely write um, a JPEG picture again, I suppose. JPEG picture, and then you could put the line there, which is just above the enter key. And then you would do star dot jpg, so for jpeg. Um, now the title of it, once again, select that picture. Just like that, so that'll be in the title. And if I run the program, let's see what it looks like. There we have it, so select a picture. We could definitely make that look a lot better. If you could just put nothing in there, select that picture. jpeg, select that picture. So. I suppose for file name, um, you can just like blank, it's probably not too important. I don't suppose, so, I mean, it's best to have something, but really, probably don't need anything, because most people will know what that is for. Say so file name, select the JPEG picture, and there's one there, and so forth. So, anyways, moving on, so now how do you save the picture? Well, yeah, just like the open file dialog, we want to go to save picture, but we need to tell the system to draw an image. So, you know, let's do that, let's double click on save picture. Um, also, what we can do after this, sorry about all this, what we can do now, what we can do, I should probably stay on the one task, but yeah, that's programming for you. If I go load picture and then I select this is a picture of me, there's my picture. But then if I click load picture again, it's got there's a picture of me. It's got that file name there. So we don't really want that there because like what if I want I mean it doesn't really hurt, but let's clean up a little bit, you know what I mean? So once it's done that, open file dollar one dot file name equals nothing. So what's going to happen is when I load my first image, it's gonna be there, this is a picture of me. Okay, done. Bang, there we go. When I load again, it's gonna have nothing. It's a lot more better. Cool. Now, moving on to the save. So, the save. This is the save button. For those of you watching that video, this is the save button. Now, we need to... Shit, what do we need to do? Um, we need to open the save dialog again. So, if open... Oh, shit. Save dialog and show dialog. Because I is it fine? Okay, I'm fine. Yes, I'm just going to go. I don't know, let's do something like that. Um, maybe we'll go with this. Probably okay. Go with okay. Then, what's going to happen then? Um, then, 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 dot image dot save and we're gonna save it. So I'm gonna go save add and I believe as if we're angry for blah 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 blah. Um no we don't want to do that we wanna save a picture and then to save it now I really wish they gave a lot better examples but they don't I mean, they're good enough but they could be better. 
So what we're going to do here is, like it says here, that you need to do the drawing of an image, but however it's asking for the file name, so where we get the file name, that's right, just like up here we can get our file name from what we call it. So we would then say, say file download one dot file name, then after that we need to tell it what sort of format it needs to be. Now if you remember before it said about the imaging system, imaging something, something, or another, blah, 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 blah. We need to do that, so system dot, uh, dot drawing dot imaging dot and then we can kind of I think we can have what sort of format we can just what we need to do. Perhaps we're just writing format, so image format. And what do you want the format to be? Well yes we want it to be JPEG because that's what we're doing with. And there we have it. So that should save the picture. Now you can definitely type in the code in this by how you perform properties, you could definitely do that. So you've got um, filter, and you could do it all within here. But I prefer to use the save file that I run just because I know it's, it works best for me. Anyway, so I'm gonna do something like this: set properties, file name, pick your own um, filter, um, save your picture. Maybe I need it, didn't I? Save your picture. Once again, the 90 degree sort of straight line, what do you want to call it? <laughs> uh, star uh, dot jpg, so because it's a jpeg. Um, title, save your, maybe that's saving your picture, perhaps. Saving your picture. Um, what's this? The file takes it. And then there's an extension. Convention and file. Oh, okay. Uh, do we need that? Probably not. No, no. Let's have a look. The load a picture. This is a picture of me. Save the picture. Save your picture. And it should automatically make it a JPEG. So hang on, let's see. Maybe it won't. So I've saved the picture. Ah, there we go. It does. It automatically makes it there. This is my. JPEG, so now it's in documents and Andrew. This is a picture of me and bang, that's a lot of Andrew for one day, I think. So, yeah, that's how you can load a image and save the image. So, um, of course, if you wanted to, you could definitely do it off the internet. Um, I would probably make a text box here, for example. Uh, I can't show you because I don't have a net. But I could probably give you a rough idea of how to do that. Actually, I've got another video tutorial. You can definitely look at that and find it that way, actually. But yeah, you just put a text box here and you just say, if the text box is nothing, then let's go to the open file dialog. So, anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. I can't thank you guys enough for the continuous support and the emails that I get. Um, and yeah, I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.